Good afternoon and welcome. Today we are sitting in Bryanston, which is South Africa's most searched suburb. We are at 42B St. Audley, and even though this property has a B in the name, this is definitely an A plus property. It has five bedrooms, 4.5 bathrooms, four reception areas, with a floor size of 360 square meters and a land size of 950 square meters. And it goes for a very reasonable price of 5,250,000 rand. So what I'd like you to do is follow me because it is time to check out this property. As you come through the beautiful white double doors, you find yourself in a reception slash dining room area. This area cuts immediately into a free flowing kitchen that really is an entertainer's dream. What you'll find around here is tons of natural light, as well as a fireplace that really incorporates an urban chic feel. You can see the exposed brick wall brings a lot of earthy undertones. And really, is there anything that you could find yourself not wanting to do in an airy and open reception area, dining room area, kitchen area like this? It is wonderful. If we move into the kitchen, you'll find yourself some beautiful granite countertops with ample covered space with exposed wood that is beautiful to feel. Right over here, we've got a stovetop burner with five burners as well as an incorporated oven. You've got a faucet and your, your basin there. And if we move this way, more cupboard area, we've got some coffee area there, as well as little nooks and crannies for you to store things inside these built-in countertops. They really put a lot of thought. Another major feature within the kitchen is, as you can see, this excavator fan with the beautiful stainless steel chimney. The different lighting the owner has fitted throughout the house, there really is a good theme to the lighting and a lot of character it brings to the house. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is just to the right of the kitchen, there is a kitchenette or a scullery, and in that scullery you can put your dishwasher, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, so it is out of sight. As well as if you are entertaining, you can put all your dishes back there and also have your cook stuff in the back away from your guests. So enough about downstairs, let's take a look at upstairs. There's a beautiful eye beam on these stairs that draws the eye upstairs. Again, double vaulted ceiling is a huge feature of this house. Stainless steel balustrade lead up to a loft area where really imagination is the limit. Currently, this has been converted into an office slash storage room, as well as a guest bedroom and bathroom. So we're gonna show you this guest bedroom and bathroom right now, and really, it has been decorated immaculately. There are cantilever windows that open up and let in such a beautiful cool breeze. You can see we've got these plaid wooden ceilings that also brings in that farmhouse vibe. It is such a pleasant experience up here. You've got a shower in the corner as well as a basin, but let's head down to the sitting room. So as you come out of the guest bedroom, as I've mentioned, there's an office slash storage room right over here. If you move in, this is something you can make your own. If you'd like to put an office in here, it is perfectly situated for you to do so. Floor to ceiling window where you get an immaculate view of this whole household. And let's take a look at this incredible view. I feel like a king surveying my kingdom. Welcome to the sitting room. It's a beautiful open space that leads right out into the garden. Another thing that I wanted to mention, and I've mentioned it a couple times before, is the amount of attention the owner has paid to lighting. We've got beautiful down lights here, and as well as some feature lights in the corner. Just behind me, we've got another half bathroom, as well as a study slash playroom, however you want to feature it, there is space there for that. As you can see behind me now, what a beautiful open space this is. So much light, so much air. Now, as we move forward, Behind me here, we have got some stairs that are going to lead to the other bedrooms. And to the left, we've got a pure, perfect reading nook. Take a look at this. Who wouldn't want to just collapse into this and read a beautiful book? Oh, didn't see you there. Let's put this away and let's show you the rest of this house. So as we move off of the sitting room and we follow the fantastic feature wall on my right hand side, we come in to the study slash playroom. 
This leads directly off into the garden with beautiful views, very light, very airy, two of the biggest features of this house. And now let's take a look at that half bathroom. As you come out of the play slash study, you've got a perfect half bathroom right here to service people coming off of the sitting room, to service people coming out of the playroom, as well as a very, very easy accessible guest bathroom. So within the bathroom and the shower itself, you'll see the hand fitted pebble flooring as well as the Iska taps. There's two full on glass shower walls. Just to the left of the shower, there'll be a fantastic looking basin with a double wide mirror. There's a lot of light, there's a lot of air, and it is a refreshing, comfortable place to be. Can't get this off my mind. Welcome. Let's take you to the first room. Another theme here is light, is air, is brightness. A lot of attention to the details have been paid to the hanging lights. And this is the first master bedroom. Tons of cupboard space as soon as you walk into your right hand side with floor to ceiling windows on the left. And as you peek out the windows, you get such a stunning view of the garden. As you move off onto the in-suite bathroom for the main bedroom, the first thing you'll see is the incredible floating tub sitting in the corner just underneath the double vaulted windows. Within the in-suite bathroom, you'll see the heated towel rack as well as a heater. It's really gonna bring a lot of warmth to those cold South African winter nights. There you'll also find a double size shower with floor to ceiling glass. It is an incredible shower with some turquoise towels at the back. You'll also see an ample cupboard room in here for some towels, whatever else your bathroom necessities might need. Again, like the remainder of this house, it's a lot of light, it's a lot of warmth, it's a lot of air, and it's something that you really need within the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg. Upstairs, just outside the master bedroom, you'll find two spare bedrooms. These can both be allocated as office space, or in this case, bedrooms for your children. They have both got very high ceilings, which brings a lot of space and volume to the area, and they are both complete identical copies of one another. So you'll find the mirrors and the windows on the right hand side and on the left hand side in the other bedroom. At the end of the upstairs hallway, you'll find a bathroom dedicated for use for the two spare rooms. This is a full bathroom. So inside it, you'll find a shower, a toilet, a bath and a basin. Within the upstairs hallway as well, you'll find yourself a full linen cupboard. Relaxing on a sunny day outside, what more can you ask for? And in this case, for this house, not much. So let's run through some other features this house has. It has a full double garage, as well as ample parking within the house, but not within the garage for other cars. It also has full block off access to the upstairs bedrooms that we had just toured with the trailer door gate. Another one of the features is an intercom, both within the main bedroom, as well as within the downstairs living area. So if you do get a visitor, you don't need to rush around the house to try and let them in. And last but not least is a 10 strand electric fence around the premises, as well as a Wi-Fi camera system. It's all built in, it's all here for your safety. But let's talk a bit about this living area. You can see outside, just off the inside living area, it is stunning. There's been so much detail paid to the lighting within the outside living area as well. And within this whole porch, just off it to the left will be a bar area and you've got your wraparound garden. Let's take a look at it. Top of the garden, you'll find a beautiful pool area. Within the pool area, there are some built-in sun lounges for you to take advantage of the amazing South African sunny days and a perfectly sized pool for you to dip in, take a couple of laps and just relax with friends, with family every single weekend that you don't need to be hard at the grind. Would you like wine? Would you like whiskey? Maybe you're not drinking and you just like a glass of water. There is no better place to entertain your guests or just sit back and enjoy a Sunday to yourself than in your own personalized bar area. Coming right off the outstairs patio, you have this beautiful, authentic bar experience here that you can enjoy with your family, with your friends, or by yourself. Cheers to you. And there we have it folks, St. Audley's Road, Bryanston. What a spectacular property and what a spectacular family home. I'm sure you all felt that enjoyed the tour. So if this is the home that you feel is for you, don't hesitate to contact the agent, Charlene Negus from First Realty. All of her details are on the screen right now.
celebrate seamless natural light. My name is Chad Riveros and I'll be taking you around South Africa showing you some of the most luxury homes there is to offer and I'd like you to join me. Welcome to George Street, Bryanston, an idyllic and quiet street in one of the most sought after suburbs of Santon. Here we have a three bedroom house with three in-suite bathrooms as well as a guest bathroom on the ground floor that serves as another half bathroom with a total of 860 meters squared floor area and 2522 meters squared land area. There is a lot to love about this house and I think it's time for me to show you that. Come on, let's go. So this property is on the market for 7.3 million rand, exclusively advertised through First Realty. And we're gonna lead you to the heart of the home. And that heart is undoubtedly the kitchen. We have got incredible quartz countertop. The whole kitchen is bedecked in white. Quality finishes are the name of the game within this house. We've got Hunscrow taps throughout the whole home. But that is not all when we talk about quality, specifically within this kitchen. We have got a smeg burner, six top burner, as well as an incorporated oven absolutely beautiful in stainless steel. Now there are a few other things about this kitchen that I adore. One is the frosted glass cabinetry. Let's open this up. It's almost like you're taking the roof off your uh, convertible. I think it is incredible. Another thing that I really, really like are these drawers. They are soft closed drawers. Listen to this. Ah, the sound of silence. Another beautiful aspect of the kitchen is a stainless steel extractor fan leading your eyes immediately up to another one of the wood finishes throughout the house and that is the feature cabinet. You can decorate that however you see fit. Let your imagination run wild. Wood accents are themed throughout this house. We're going to show you a lot more of them but the final part of the kitchen that I really really love is this behind me. A sliding door right there by the kitchen. Who wouldn't love a really nice breeze while you're cooking, seamless indoor-outdoor living. We're going to show you a little bit more of that, but I absolutely adore that. And that is why we're going to head right to the dining room area. Now as you walk down, the first thing you see here is this area is dominated by a 10-seater dining room table. So there is ample space in here for all of your needs. If you are a big entertainer, possibly contravening those lockdown regulations, naughty, naughty. There is tons of space here for you. I'm sure you're going to absolutely love it. We have got right at the top some down lighting with these glass lamps. It looks incredible. A big feature throughout the house is actually the time the owner's taken to incorporate LED lights throughout. There's also prepaid electricity, so your electricity bill is not going to take a knock from a house this size. Another thing I'd like you guys to pay attention to is throughout the house, there's really, really tasteful decorations, as well as the incorporation of mirrors in strategic areas that bounces the light around. So if you're looking for any tips or tricks about decorating this house, take it from this video. Now behind me is the lounge area, which we're gonna show you in depth. But before we do that, let's cut to the rest of the kitchen. The kitchen has an inbuilt scullery, but the first thing you'll notice as we walk in towards that scullery is there's space for a double door fridge, as well as a microwave within the corner. Also, on the side of the kitchen, there's immediately an output there for your TV, so you can pipe not only feed from your cameras live around the house to within your kitchen area, you can also, if you want to, set up a TV screen there. Within the scullery area as well, there is space for a dishwasher, your washing machine, as well as a tumble dryer as well as a double fridge. So there's plenty of space to do some washing up. Again, beautiful lighting incorporated throughout the kitchen, letting in a lot of natural light and also keeping the feel very airy. And here we are within the lounge. This house has got a lot of built-in convenience features and one of the most predominant is one you notice in the lounge immediately. And there are the blinds as well as the shutters behind us. Completely seamless, built-in. You don't need to worry about anything, specifically curtains. Bulky curtains, a thing of the past, specifically within this house. Another very, very cool feature, and it flows with the rest of the wood touches in this house, that is the TV stand. It is recessed within a TV nook, waiting for your 55, 65, 75 inch TV. And on the note of TVs, your security system can get piped directly to the TV. You can monitor your security on the TV, and not only on the TV, but also on your smartphone. The eight camera security system gets piped immediately to your smartphone so that you can see what's going on in and around your house anywhere in the world. There are another two things you can do on this and that is reset your beams throughout the house as well as arm and disarm your security system. Now that is smart security. But onto my favorite feature of this house. So I want you to follow me. We have got seamless indoor and outdoor living. 
Check this out. Stacking slidable doors. I'm six foot and I mean, I can't even touch each end of this. It's incredible. I love the open air, the feel of the breeze, the sound of the trees rustling outside, the smell of fresh air. This is a South African's dream in my opinion. I mean, take a look at this dining area. This is the breakfast nook. This is where you can entertain your friends. This is where a South African can enjoy our braais because there is an inbuilt braai area and that braai area comes with a very cool trick. It has got a lighting site. So no matter what's going on and where it's happening, you can always take a look and make sure that meat is grilled to perfection. I want an invite because whoever takes this house, I'm expecting some lamb chops. Just in front of the braai to the left, you'll see feature wood areas again, integrating and tying in with all the wood so tastefully decked out within this house. But let's look at this garden area. Just enough, just the perfect size. Guys, if you're buying this house and you're worried about the garden, you don't need to. This is a garden that not only can be tailored for garden service, but also if you want to try your hand and work on that green thumb. I think it's perfect. There's plenty of space for a pool if you're looking to integrate one of those. And again, take a look at these doors over here. Another set of stackable doors leading into the seating area. Let's check that out. And there we have it. These stackable doors open wide, giving you access to your second seating area, as well as to your garden, your kitchen, and your living room. It is incredible the amount of thought that has went into the design of this house. But the second seating area can double as another dining room area or another lounge area. But it also brings us right back around to our entrance hall. Now follow me, because I've got two things to show you right there. And here we are, back where we started. But there are two very cool things right here. First. To my right, there is the guest bathroom. And to my left, for everybody that is very, very pedantic about storage, there's an ample spaced storage closet there, as well as easy access to your garage. But that is not all because we are about to head upstairs and see how much better this house can get. And it's a hint, a lot better. Now, coming up the stair area, one of the things you notice immediately is the beautiful light. And take a look at that chandelier above me. I am such a fan of unique lighting within houses, and this house definitely ticks that box. There's also lighting leading all the way down the stairs on the foot wall, making sure you don't take any unfortunate tumbles if you are doing this with some of the lights off. The second thing, and my favorite thing about the stairwell, is that there is this huge picture frame mirror behind me. I absolutely love it because stairs are so difficult to decorate as it is, and this design has taken that out of your hands and really let nature decorate this, which I thought was a very, very good decision. It also leads in so much light towards this upper floor landing. Now, on this landing, as soon as you arrive, the first thing you notice, and a very, very important thing with lockdown in effect, is this inbuilt office area. You've got a window on your left and a window on your right. So much light. It feels like you're working outdoors, which I love. So come on in here. Let me show you what it looks like. Desk with built-in cupboards, as well as beautiful framing with these bookshelves around here. I can imagine eking out all the work I need to do right here. So I love it. It was also very, very thoughtful. It's all built in. Now on my right hand side is one of the bedrooms as well as to my left. And let's go show you those before we go into the best bit of this house. And that is the master bedroom. So let's take a look. So here we are, the first of two guest bedrooms. I love this room because, and it is a theme that carries on throughout this house. There is a lot of space. Tons of space, as a matter of fact. You can see this sleigh bed really not taking up a lot of space. And so often in Bryanston, you find the problem in that the guest bedrooms, the spare bedrooms, the extra bedrooms are just very, very small. And that is not a problem you're gonna have in this house. So there's a window there. There is also a window over there, letting in that natural light, also creating quite a nice cross breeze. And right over here, we have an in-suite bathroom. Now, this in-suite bathroom has a freestanding tub as well as a hidden system toilet, very, very quality finishes, freestanding basin as well, window, mirror, very nice. And continuing with all of these soft close elements downstairs, look at that. Nobody's gonna be slamming anything in your house. It is gonna be as quiet as a mouth. Now let me show you the master bedroom. You're in for a treat. Passing plenty of windows, absolutely love the windows. And in here, 
there is the most space you'll find out of all of the bedrooms, which is very, very fitting for the master bedroom. Two of the things I'd like to mention here, which I think are very important, is one, the aircon. We know how swelteringly hot summer South African days can get. And the second is these fantastic built-in blinds. It all comes with the house. However, as opposed to downstairs, upstairs within the bedrooms, there's a lot of space for you to hang your curtains. They've done this. Another thing, now that I see it, is the TV. So all the bedrooms, as well as the downstairs kitchen area, which we've already spoken about, come with inputs, jack inputs for your TV. It's all built in. You're not gonna need to buy this house and then start wiring, running wires, deciding how you wanna do that. It is all here for you. The owners and the builders have taken so much time to make this a home you can immediately start living in. Now, this master bedroom has got something very, very special that I wanna show you, and that is a walk-in cupboard slash changing area. Come on, let's go. So coming through your dressing room area, you come into the in-suite bathroom, the master in-suite bathroom, and this is an absolute incredible place to be. Within the walk-in cupboard slash dressing room area, now my producer pulled me aside and she said, Chad, you need to pay a lot of attention to this because this is fantastic and really being in here, it is plenty of downlighting, lots of space for you to get changed. There is so many cupboards, frosted glass accents in some of the cupboards and as I'm sure you might have noticed, there is a floor to ceiling mirror here. So let's swivel this camera over and here we are. What a fantastic area it is to get changed at the start of your day. Again, the very, very contemporary showers, the freestanding bath, the double vanities with a huge mirror and that beautiful floating toilet there with the hidden system. But something that the designers did here, which was very cool, is not only the feature wall and the incredible attention that they've paid to lighting, but also the two windows creating a great cross breeze in this bathroom. If you had to open those up, jump into this bath, run yourself a nice hot bath, full of bubbles, create a nice cross breeze. I actually think I need to calm down, guys. Now follow me, let me show you the second bedroom. You'll notice a theme that continues. Oh, I can't actually stop mentioning this because I love it so much and that is the light, that is the windows. One, two, three, four, five windows within this guest bedroom. It's incredible because it feels so open, so airy, so spacious. This bedroom, a little bit bigger than the other bedroom but still ample, ample space here in-suite bathroom as well as, take a look at this. This is where your cupboards are. But not only can this be your little cupboard area, maybe a changing area, you can also turn this into such a great reading nook. Maybe have a hanging chair sitting there with all that light. Mm. I am very, very jealous for the next owners of this house. Now, there is a bathroom here, in-suite bathroom, and I'd like to show you that because it does not have a bath, this in-suite bathroom. It has got a shower. So right over here, the showers are very, very contemporary. I love the showers. Glass surrounding the whole shower, no door, because really, who needs a door? Rainfall shower head, again, floating vanity, beautiful mirror, and the soft clothes, fancy, fancy toilet. But those are the two bedrooms covered. Now let me show you at the outside balcony. Mm. But while I have you here, come a little bit closer. A little bit closer? I know this is a home for you. I know you want this home. So if you want this home, you need to contact Charlene Negus from First Realty right now. All of the details on screen and they will schedule you a showing. You can see this beautiful property for yourself. Phew. And now that I've composed myself, I'd like to thank you for watching the Private Property Home Buyer Show and we'll see you next time. Pretoria East, soon to be South Africa's richest square mile. This is Menlin, Maine, and behind me is a four bedroom, four bathroom penthouse suite. My name is Chad Viveros, and I'll be taking you around South Africa, showing you some of the most luxurious properties SA has to offer. So follow me, because it's time, baby! Here we are inside a four bedroom, four bathroom penthouse in the center of Menland. This is Menland, Maine, and wow, what a door, 
that is. It is absolutely cavernous, vault-like, and it does lend a touch that the rest of this apartment does, and that's a touch of quality. Great entrance hall leading to the first and my favorite feature of this house, and that is young Mila over here, but unfortunately, she does not come with the house. So let's move on to the kitchen. We've got beautiful marble countertops, and that is even within the other side of the kitchen, which we'll show you in a moment, as well as a built-in dustbin. So all your food scraps can go right there. Then we've got a featured sink made by Robert Walford. There's also a splashback that I'm gonna show you a little bit later. And right over here, we've got a fully wood butcher's block. I'm sure preparing your meals here must be an absolute treat. And it lends in just a little bit of homeliness into a house this size. I'm sure you guys have noticed this already, but right behind me, we've got a wine cellar. So let's go take a look at what they've got. Now, with lockdown restrictions in effect, I'm sure many of you can sympathize with my need for a good bottle of wine. Let's see what they've got. Let's take a look at this one. Now, let's take a look at that kitchen and find a corkscrew. But before I leave, take a look at this wine cellar. There's plenty of space for some glassware. There's cabinetry all over the place, as well as some really nice areas for you to put decorations in here and make it your own space. Now, moving into the kitchen, the first thing I'd like to notice is the Miele inbuilt ovens. We've got the oven, the microwave, as well as the fridge. Then, right over here, we've got the induction cooktop with an inbuilt extractor fan. Finally, that fan is where you want it, not floating up in the ceiling. And right over here is that Robert Wolfel splashback. All the way at the bottom, we've got matte gray inbuilt storage with soft clothes. On the left-hand side, we've got a double sink, your faucet here, and another one of these awesome bins. Plenty of space here for budding cooks or cooks that are already well established and bakers, because there's another oven, not one, but two ovens, to really find themselves. You can spend as much time as you want in this kitchen. You're never gonna feel crowded. You're never gonna feel like this wasn't made for an aspirational chef. Now near the back is where you'd put all of your washing machines as well as tumble dryers. And there is another sink just to the right here for you to utilize if you need it. On my left hand side is an inbuilt scullery for you to utilize all of that cupboard space and make sure you don't take this up with anything you don't want on display because that is what this house is all about. Coming out of the kitchen area, you find yourself within the living room and the dining area. There's wood flooring throughout the house as well as a wood feature wall where your TV is. Now, continuing the design elements of this house, you'll find yourself a more so fireplace with no chimney. So it is nice and compact in the corner resting on some stone blocks. And we know we have chilly South African evenings. Now, talking about chilly, on the summer days, you can stack your floor to ceiling glass doors all the way open, and you have got plantation shutters, eliminating the need for curtains within the house. Leaving the living room area, you find yourself in the dining room area, and it is a fantastic place to be. Plenty of space, plenty of space. This could easily accommodate a 10-seater dining room table. With sliding doors on my right and sliding doors behind me, if we open them all up, you can enjoy Sunday, Saturday, Friday, lunches here with families. It really is an entertainer's dream that latches on perfectly with the way the kitchen is built up. There's two seating areas situated outside a dining area, as well as an area just to enjoy the beautiful pool and the stunning views you get from outside. And we're gonna be showing you that a little bit later. Also, throughout the living area, you'll see ceiling fans, not one, but two, as well as down lighting situated everywhere you could possibly need light. Just off the dining room area and the lounge area, you'll find yourself in the study. Now the study has got plenty of space for you to sit and do all your work. And there is a fan above you, just in case these bills are making you sweat. Just to my left, you'll see beautiful, beautiful bookcases. And above, there's some space for some filing there. But this house has got four bedrooms and four ensuite bathrooms. Each of those bedrooms have access to the garden. So what I wanna do now is let's go show you those bedrooms. First bedroom, here we are. Immediately on your right, you've got some inbuilt cupboards. It is the same color as all the other cupboards in the house and the continuity is awesome. On the right as well, there's a built-in dressing room area, marble countertops. And as we move into the bedroom, you'll see that this is the smallest of the four bedrooms, but ample space here to use this as another office space or as in a kid's playroom or a kid's bedroom. There are plantation blinds throughout the whole house as well and you'll find that here in this bedroom too. The bathroom area has got a shower, basin, as well as a toilet. 
The shower has a garden view, so it brings in so much light and so much air to a bathroom that might otherwise be dark. Beautiful tiling throughout the bathroom, I have to give them credit. I love the colors and I love the way the light interacts with those tiles to make it look so warm and yet still classy in this bathroom. Now, let's go to the second one and we are increasing these bedrooms. We're gonna make them better and better until we bring you finally to the creme a la creme, the master suite. Oh, sorry about that. So here we are within the second of the four bedrooms. This one is definitely larger and there are two vanities as I'm sure you've noticed. You could DJ at them or like normal persons, you can just use them to get ready. There's also ample cupboard space and this incredible garden behind me. Full garden access like I'd mentioned within all the bedrooms. Now, let me show you the ensuite bathroom. So coming through the hallway, and you know you've got a nice house when you've got a hallway for the bedrooms. You've got your ensuite bathroom. Going into this bathroom, you'll see you've got your toilet, your floating sink, beautiful mirrors, as well as another incredible shower. Guys, I cannot say enough about the showers within this house. So much attention has been paid to them and it really does feel it. When you walk into these showers, they look incredible. There is also, and I forgot to mention to you this in the previous bathroom, and that is heated towel racks within all the bathrooms throughout the house. So on those cold South African days, you're gonna have a nice toasty towel. Now, let's go take a look at the creme de la creme of this house, and that is the master bedroom. Coming into the master bedroom, your eyes immediately drawn to the way the architects use this wood to separate the master bed from the walk-in closet. And you're gonna need your sun hat when you enjoy the unobstructed views from this bed of the pool and all that Pretoria countryside. <laughs> but that doesn't end there. Let's go take a look at the master bathroom. Right here, we have a bathroom of exceptional quality. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever been in, and that is just the way it's designed. Not only have you got views of the pool from the freestanding bathtub, and I mean, look at the shape of this bathtub. Look at the faucets. So much attention's been paid to all of this, and I absolutely love it. Then, we have got a floor-to-ceiling glass shower that is enormous. And I like that because you've got lots of space to rub a dub dub. And behind me, not only have you got the very, very nice and stylish sink, you've got both a toilet and a bidet. You know you are living the life of luxury when you've got a bidet in your master suite bathroom. But that is not all for this house. Let's go take a look at outside. Coming out of the master bedroom, you find yourself in this garden, and this garden is completely wraparound. So every single one of the bedrooms have access to the garden. As a South Africans, we're so used to being boxed in by walls, but because this house is raised up from the ground floor, we get to use balustrades instead of walls, and it makes such a difference. It is completely open here, airy and fresh. It really seems like you're having a visit at the Botanical Gardens. But you also notice this lap pool, it is heated. So winter is not making anything go off limits right here. We are talking about the lap of luxury. A couple of other features on this house is it does have five parking bays, two storage bays, as well as a separate domestic quarters with its own bathroom. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, we've said four bedrooms, we've said four bathrooms, but we've only shown you three of each. There is a separate fourth bedroom and bathroom. However, we didn't have access to it today, but we will be showing it to you in this video. The outside area, other than having three separate seating areas, has a Chado Chef grass fry as well as a Melee deep fryer. Both of these are gas operated and should be easy to use come rain or shine. There's also plenty of storage space both below the gas fry as well as above it. There you have it folks, four bedroom, four bathroom, penthouse mansion in Menland, Maine. If this is the house for you, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to contact Andre Skiokati from Apple Properties. His details will be on screen right now and he'll arrange a viewing for you. 
But that is all we have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching The Home Shopper Show, proudly brought to you by Private Property, and we'll be seeing you next time.